Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Joseph and our topic for today is all about the parable of research or ways of knowing. So this will be our lesson one for first semester. So why do we need to have a research? That's our first question. Bakit ba kailangan ng research? So, research is undertaken within most professions, more than a set of skills. Research is a way of thinking, examining critically the various aspects of your day-to-day -day professional work, understanding and formulating guiding principles that govern a particular procedure, and developing and testing new theories that contribute to the advancement of your practice and profession. Imagine the world without research. So why do we need now a research? Kung walang research, sa tingin nyo, nakakapag-video kaya ako ng ganito sa sa laptop? Sa tingin nyo, meron ba tayong mga gadgets ngayon? Meron kaya tayong mga satellite na nasa outer space makikita kaya natin yung mga animals or living things na nasa deep sea makakalipad or meron kaya tayong aeroplano meron kaya tayong light bulb and so on everything that we have now in our world are product of research that's why research is very important to us, to our life, to our profession. So, in this whole semester, um, you are expected to provide or produce a proposal uh, that you intended to produce or to, to provide. To, to study or to research right um, next time next discussion uh, sasabihin ko kung ano ang ating um, pinaka topic sa ating uh, mga gagawing research so before we proceed to the discussion about ways of knowing let me present to you first the different parts of research proposal that you are expected to produce at the end of this semester. So this is the outline of the research proposal. We have titled page, table of contents, and introduction. I believe all of you know this because you already took um, practical research one then literature review conceptual framework statement of the problem significance of the study scope and the limitation so uh, in the chapter one or introduction actually this is a uh, Imrad style so wala siyang chapter na nakalagay but it is uh, by part so for the introductory part we have the following components, literature review, conceptual framework, statement of the problem, significance of the study, and scope and the limitation. For the method, we have the components type of research, research site, respondents and sampling method, instruments, data collection procedure, ethical considerations, and, and data analysis. So these are the, uh, the components for the methodology or the method part of your research and then uh, we have references natutulan ko kayo how to do referencing appendices as well uh, including the letters the instruments all the materials used in the research kung ano man yung ginawa mo uh, pictures and so on so these are the again the parts of the research proposal that you are expected to produce at the end of the semester. So, pwede mong review ulit if you want to 
write them on your notes yung mga iba't ibang parts ng research proposal. Uh, for the policy of our uh, subject, practical research too, the text of the manuscript must conform to the following. So we have band paper size, letter eight, letter size 8.5 by 11, font style times new Roman, font size 12, running head, title page, and subsequent pages, text spacing, double spaces, margin, uh, yung margin sa left ay 1.5, and the rest are 1 inches. And for the refer referencing, we will use the APA6 style or edition style. Now, let's proceed to ways of knowing. Let's add this activity. Is it true? Green grapes are sweeter than red grapes. Is it true? Okay. How about this one? Male are better than female in math. However, female are better than male in English. Tama ba yan? Let's see. Number three. According to some authors, education is a preparation for adult life. Is that true? Four. Water from the sea boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Water from the river boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Therefore, water from the refrigerator boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And fifth, turmeric can enhance the memory retention of human being. So these five questions requires a, um, an experiment to determine if it's true or false. So, for the analysis, how can we determine if this statement is true or not? How can we determine? Correct. So, to determine if this statement is true or not, you need to test the statement or you need to read books to determine if this statement is true. Or you need to apply this statement. So what are the ways of knowing? Iba't ibang paraan para malaman ang isang bagay. Let's start with the first one, the sensory experience. The first ways of knowing is using our senses to perceive things and phenomena. So, uh, Originally, we know the five senses. We have the sense of touch, sense of smell, sense of sight, hearing, and taste. Uh, we have eight human senses, actually. Uh, actually, there are so many, but I'll just name only eight human senses. We have visual sense, which is a sense of sight, auditory, hearing, Tactile is touching, gustatory is tasting, sense of equilibrium that is a sense of balance, olfactory, smell, kinesthetic, muscle and joints, visceral sense is internal organs. Sometimes, uh, halimbawa, ano ba ang lasa ng sigang or sinigang? So to determine kung ano ang lasa, you need to use your sense of taste or the gustatory, and so on. So, the first way to know something is using sensory experience. The other ways of knowing is agreement with others, getting the opinion of others if it is conform with your opinion. Pukuha ng opinion sa ibang tao. So, example, does everybody taste that sugar is sweet? So, what is sweet ba siya? Uh, so, papatikin mo sa, sa mga mo to determine kung pareho ba kayo na lasa. Do the millennia really like Facebook or and Twitter? And so on. So, kukuha ka ng opinion sa ibang tao kung pareho sila ng opinion mo base dun sa ginawa mo. 
okay so that is agreement with others and the third is expert opinion this expert opinion consulting expert in their field like doctors practitioner scientists or philosopher halimbawa um uh, medyo nalilito ka sa math so sino pupuntahan mo so pwedeng engineering student kasi magaling sa mga math yan or di kaya math teacher mo um masakit ang ngipin mo, kanino ka pupunta? Pwedeng sa dentista, dahil siya ang expert pagdating sa teeth, and so on. Sa mata, etc. So, meron tayong mga expert opinion para malaman natin yung bagay na gusto natin uh, maintindihan. For example, ask medical doctor about the HIV or human immunodeficiency virus. Interviewing barangay captain about the problems in the community. Bawa, paano ba magpa, uh, mag-alaga ng isda? So, you can ask farmers or fish farm guard paano sila nag-aalaga ng mga isda and so on. So, that is an expert opinion or mga agriculturists, on the other hand. The fourth is the logic, a branch of philosophy known as the science of correct thinking. So, another ways of knowing is logic. Minsan, um, tinitignan mo din yung logic ng isang bagay. Um, like, for instance, all human beings are mortal, Sally is a human being, therefore Sally is mortal. So that's an example of logic. To know something. Okay? And the last one is the scientific method. I think pinakagamit actually, yung scientific method. No? Um, and then expert opinion on the other hand. Pero mga academians, scientists, they use scientific method to determine or to know something. So, it is a systematic process of knowing through the scientific manner. So, meron tayong five steps for scientific method. First, identify the problem. Uh, you need to identify ano ba yung problem. Then, second, make hypothesis or tentative solution to the problem. And then, determine the information needed and collect it. So, ano ba yung mga kailangan natin para masolve yung problem? And then, you need to collect all the things needed to solve the problem. And then, organize and analyze the problem and interpret the result and reflect. Halimbawa, um, you don't know how to cook sinigang. So, that's the problem. How to cook sinigang? Then, make a hypothesis or tentative solution to that problem. Maaring ang kailangan mo muna ay siyempre um, banga yung dating ginagamit o di kay kasirola para makapagluto ka ng sinigang and uh, sandok o yung mga materials na kailangan. And then determine the information needed. Ano pa yung mga kailangan dito? Like mga ingredients ah, tsaka procedure paano magluto. Then you need to collect everything. Then, you need to organize and analyze the data. How? How to analyze? So, you need to taste, of course, the your product, if it is good or not. And then, interpret the result and reflect. Kung natuto ba? Natuto ka ba? Kung tama ba yung ginawa mo? O hindi? Kung may binunga ba siya? Nakatulong ba siya? So, that is for the fifth step of the scientific method. So that's it. So that's our first lesson for today. The ways of knowing. The five ways of knowing. The scientific method. The expert opinion. The Another is the logic. And then the agreement with others. And last is the sensory experience. Next topic natin is all about the nature of inquiry that I'll be going to discuss 
next meeting. With that, goodbye everyone.